Have you found yourself struggling with playing flat keys in tune and you're ready to learn some tips to help you play flat keys more in tune? You have come to the right place. Hi, I'm violinist Heather Kay. I work with dedicated adult violinists who desire to develop impeccable technique and to play with gorgeous tone. So I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step process to help you not only play the flat keys that you're currently working on more in tune, but how to develop a strategy to study flat keys. First off, we need to kind of discuss a little bit of music theory here. What I'd like you to do is go to your A2 to your piece that you're working on that has flats and look at your key signature. In that key signature, you need to know how many flats you have, and you also need to know if you're playing in major or minor. The next very important tip is to know what notes are your sparkly notes. So I call sparkly notes, <laughs> notes that resonate with your open strings, notes that have a very fresh, sparkly sound, meaning they really vibrate. So that would be your G's, D's, A's, and E's. If you're playing in the key of F, you have a B flat, and your G, D, A, and E are still gonna resonate. When you play in the key of B flat, we lose one of those sparkly notes because our E is flat. So you can even color code in your music the highlight the notes that are the sparkly notes. Why this is important is because what I have seen happen with many violinists that I've worked with, when it comes to flat keys, all the notes get played slightly out of tune. And we want to anchor in on those notes that are actually without a flat. To know those notes individually and make sure that they stay true to their identity and are not given into the peer pressure of the flats around them. So for example, this key signature B flat and E flat, which is B flat major or G minor, we still have some sparkly notes. So if this is the key that you're working in and you're struggling with intonation, I would suggest playing a G minor scale. Listen to your G's and your D's and tune that E flat to the D. So just think about tuning to the D. What I mean by that is finding the D and then playing the E flat. So we don't want to tune that E flat or think of that E flat as coming from an E natural because it'll end up being sharp. So we want to keep it tuned to the half step below. Same for that B flat. We're tuning that B flat to the A natural. Okay, so that's our sparkly note A. And we have the D, sparkly note D. Okay, so it's excellent to practice the following scales in the specific key that you're working in. So we're gonna take this G minor example. We have two flats, B flat and E flat. I would play a G minor scale in every position that you find in your piece. So if you find that you're playing in third position or in fourth position or second or sixth position, you want to be able to play that G minor scale across the instrument in those specific positions. Really listen that every note is super in tune. So it's important to practice the three octave scales for sure, but there's so much more than that. Practice going across the instrument. So for this example of G minor, we could start right on G in first position. But let's say, for example, we're playing a piece that is with three flats. So we have a B flat, E flat, and an A flat. So we're in the key of E flat. 
if you're playing a piece in the key of E flat and you're playing in first position, I would suggest playing every note possible in that key of E flat in first position. So what I mean by that <laughs> is starting on G and playing all the notes within the key of E flat major. So we'd have G, A flat, B flat, C. And we want that C to be a truly in tune C. And not let it be influenced by the fact that we're playing an A flat and a B flat, our one and two are low. So in this exact example, I would suggest finding the C and then working your way down, going back up to the C. Okay, and then we have D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D. Listen with your, play with your open D, and then E flat. So even though it's an E flat major scale that we're playing, we started on the open G. This is such a great way to practice your scales when you are desiring to improve your intonation within your pieces. And just always listen to those sparkly notes that they don't change their identity. I have a great download to help you out with getting to know the pitches in such a way that you identify with them on a deeper level. And that's my pitch exploration journal. I'll link it in the upper right hand corner and you can go ahead and head on over to the shop to purchase for an immediate digital download. Now, do you understand this pitch exploration journal, if done properly, is truly going to transform your intonation and your relationship with the pitches. If you're serious about improving your intonation within playing flat keys, I would work through the circle of fifths and play every key that has flats, major and minor. I would start off with the very first key, which is F major or D minor. And I would work out the major and minor scale for each key signature. So one flat, F major, I would play F major scales in every position that you are able to play in. So if you're able to do F major scales across the instrument in first through seventh position, I would do that. And then also the D harmonic minor scale. In every position, first through seventh, that you know going up and down. So if you only know first, third, and fifth, that's totally fine. If you only know first and third, that's great. If you only know first position, no problem. But if you're truly dedicated and wanting to improve your intonation within flat keys, I would play the major minor scales within the positions that you know. So one flat F major D minor, two flats B flat major, G minor, and so on and so forth. Scales across the instrument, three octave scales. Take out a fun etude from Wolfart, Sit, Kreutzer, Sedcheck. There are many different places you can check out for a simple etude to help you improve your intonation. And I would pick a specific piece within that key, depending on the level that you're at within that specific key signature. If you're playing concerti, you can play the Brook Concerto in G minor to be your G minor study. If you go through this process, I promise you will be very, very confident in playing your flat keys in tune. Happy practicing. Ciao.